Hi, my name is Tara and I had a hysterectomy. About five years ago, I started having problems with my menstrual cycle. Um, and I tried birth control. The doctor said that the birth control would um, decrease the amount of days and the flow of my cycle. I would sometimes bleed for 10, 14, even 21 days. And my bleeding was very, very heavy. Um, so the doctors tried birth control to manage the flow of my um, cycle and to decrease the days that didn't work. So I proceeded with the Mirena IUD, which was supposed to stop my cycle altogether, but I still had breakthrough bleeding. And again, heavy clotting, like the, the type of clotting when you stand up, it feels like something inside of you. It's just dropped. Um, you go, you laugh, you're in the crowd, you laugh. You have to worry about laughing too hard because you're bleeding too hard or, you know, the, the clots will come. So um, the doctor first talked to me about having a hysterectomy. And although I knew in my heart, I didn't want to have any children. There was something wasn't sitting right with me about somebody telling me that I was no longer able to have children. I was probably around 37, 38 at this time. And when I had my son, I was already high risk, already decided I wasn't having any more kids. But again, it's just a difference when you say you're not having any and someone else tell you like, this is it, you can't have any. So um, with you know, as the doctors were trying and trying to stop the bleeding, um, it's, it just started happening more often. So my life became like maybe five or six days with without menstrual bleeding. And I would try playing trips, can't get in the water because I have to wear two oversight, like um, what are the overnight pads, like one in the front, one in the back, constantly checking. And it just became a problem. So um, the cause of my bleeding was fibroids. So at first I had two, and then it was three. And finally, when I made the decision to go ahead and have the hysterectomy, I ended up with four fibroids. Um, the biggest one was like three centimeters in size. Um, I think I had two that was like 1.7 centimeters. It was causing my stomach to be um, bigger than it was because the fibroids were big. So it um, had my you know, caused my stomach to be bigger. So after speaking with um, my nurse practitioner, who was very cool, um, she just basically told me that if I didn't have the hysterectomy and I continued bleeding like I would bleed, I would need blood transfusions because the excessive bleeding was causing me to have anemia. And anemia is low red blood cell counts, low iron. And I have a teenage son, he's very active. His mother's always tired. The dark circles around my eyes, eyes is from having low iron from the anemia for living with the five boys and all the excessive bleeding all that time. So I just decided to, to go ahead. I was tired. My husband was tired. My children were tired. So my anemia was affecting everybody in the family. We were all tired all the time. So May 7th, 2021, last year, I went ahead and had the hysterectomy. Um, they did it with robotic surgery, which means that it was like five holes in my stomach. They went in. And um, the type of hysterectomy I had is called a complete hysterectomy with ovaries intact. So I still have my ovaries, but I no longer have my uterus, um, fallopian tubes, um, my cervix, all of that is gone. Um, and I was also afraid about the cervix part because in the Black community, you hear all the time, that's going to cause a problem with sex. But since I've had the hysterectomy, I've noticed no difference in sex. My husband has noticed no difference. So all of that is just probably old wives tales. Um, the recovery time for the, from the robotic surgery was very quick. I had my surgery on a Friday. Um, that, mo that Sunday was Mother's Day. I was in the car with my husband going to get mangoes from the mango man. Like the, the recovery 
I wasn't sore. I didn't have a problem getting up, using the bathroom. Like all of the stories you hear that'll make you afraid of getting a hysterectomy. Because I guess back in the days, they used to cut us open, like the C-section. And women couldn't walk. They had problems with gas. They had painful problems. I didn't have any gas problems. I didn't have any of that. And I was so happy that I finally decided to get it. So after the six week recovery time, since then I've regained my energy. My iron levels are up. I'm no longer at risk of needing a blood transfusion because I'm not losing blood. I'm not having any, any problems at all. And it was the best decision that I've ever made. So if you're having a, a problem with fibroids or threatening excessive anemia or anything like that, and you just need a little bit of encouragement, um, I would definitely suggest doing it. If you're, if you're done, if you know you're done having children, because obviously that's not a procedure that's reversible. So um, that's it.